Hello and welcome to another Disney World vlog series. Today we're flying out with Virgin Atlantic to go over to Orlando uh, from London Heathrow. I'm going with my partner Roxy and we're going to be staying there for two weeks. We are staying on Disney property this time so we're going to be staying in one of the value resorts which is Disney's All-Star Sports Resort. Um, but yeah we've got a lot of stuff planned, a lot going on, a lot booked and we're going to be trying out a lot of new things, a lot of new restaurants, so do stay tuned throughout the series and uh, there may be a few surprises along the way as well. We're going to head off to the airport now and I'll see you when we get there. At the terminal! So in half for security finally. Uh, just going to grab something to eat and then head over to our gate. Off to Orlando! There it is. <laughs> so we're on the flight, we are in economy class and what you get in economy class on the seat is you get a set of headphones, you get a blanket and also a pillow so it's not too bad. The seat room's not great but we're right on the wing. Not bad at the minute. Breeze through everything. Yeah. So yeah. It's really important that you watch and understand it because together we're all responsible for safety on this flight. It's really important that your seatbelt is securely fastened. If it isn't, push the two ends together until they click. Then tighten it by pulling a strap like this. <laughs> chicken and Portuguese rice, like chock pot, yeah. like a little a mousse, mousse type thing, yeah. Like yeah. So that's the spinach and ricotta pasta, and then the grilled chicken and Portuguese rice. Yep. Yummers. Doesn't look too bad actually. What do you think? A little bit spicy. I like it. Quite touch. So we're not too far now, just an hour and 25 minutes and we have lunch. So we got scone, some juice, sandwiches, which is cream cheese, roast red pepper, cheddar pickle, mixed beef finger sandwiches, one brown, one white, and then we've got clotted cream jam. Yeah. We've actually had loads of food on this flight. It's been very, very, very filling. We shouldn't have bought food onto the plane. It's so full. So this is the airport, Orlando International Airport. Ah, oh, pretty. We actually breezed through everything pretty quick, so now we're just gonna find where our coach is and then head to the resort. Yeah.
his ass. We're in the surf up rooms section. Okay, so we just kind of bypassed everything and just went round because we've got straight to room service and we're in the surf up building. This place is pretty cool so far. We're in one of these. We're on the third floor though. So we just gotta go find an elevator. That's what we can kind of see at the minute. Pretty cool. I love it. The vibe is so good. Haha! Boop! That's a big, big elevator. Okay, so this should be our room. This is kind of what we got view of, but we already have our magic band from the last time, so. And we are in. Nice. Just out of that mirror. I know. I can beautify myself here. So a bit of a room tour. As you come in the door, immediately to your right, you've got the pull-out bed, which is pretty cool because it folds in that desk. And I'll show you at some point. Um, there is some outlets next to it as well, and to the left of the door, immediately as you come in, you've got a mini fridge down there, a coffee maker, <coughs> 50th anniversary blend, which is awesome. Inside the cupboard we have a very large safe which can get a bunch of things in there. Draw space, plenty of, sides of the beds, plus a lot of these sockets have, so the ones at the sides of the bed have two of the US sockets and two USBs. With the ones on the other side of the room they have the two, uh, two US sockets, a USB and a USB-C port. So that's pretty good. There's plenty of them as well, so you're not going to run out of space for anything. And this is basically the same bed that is here. Just this one is forever out. Love the artwork. Very cute. And then just there, we get a coat rack. Sliding door. A bit of privacy. So you've got a place to stick some of your clothes there if you want to and a section up the ironing board as well as an iron a humongous mirror hairdryer and some other storage sections through here where you can pop all your stuff it's very standard towels shelving at the top there as well the h2o facial soap here as well as h2o stuff just in here with the shower, which is pretty standard shower. We have access to the extra magic hours in the morning, so we're gonna be doing that. We already have our magic van, so that's obviously how we managed to get into the hotel room straight away without going for a reception or anything. We just we came straight around uh, because we had checked in ourselves on the Walt Disney World app and they then just provided us our room number as soon as it was ready. So other than that for now, uh, we are gonna head out. It's 6.30 p.m. at the minute, but we are not gonna be going to any of the parks today, but we are gonna be going out to Target or Walmart. Go grab some bits and then come back and have another walk around the resort. One thing I did also want to mention is we are gonna be buying a refillable resort mug and then you can refill it as many times as you want throughout your entire stays but you cannot use them at any of the parks. So we're on our way out now to the All-Star Sports Resort shop so we can go check out. Oh wow this is this is awesome. So pretty. So yeah so we can get one of the resort refillable mugs and then yeah I think we're gonna get a 
Uber or something over to the Target because they have Starbucks. My first Starbucks in the States. Yes, Again. <laughs> okay, so we've both just got a standard Disney 100 one, which are pretty cool. So we've got them refillable ones. So now we're just gonna head and get our taxi to get to Target. Target. And Disney. Disney straight away. Where's the Starbucks? Can't start a Target trip without Starbucks. <laughs> Loads of drink option. And we got Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. Loads of drinks. Look at all the hatred. Honestly, we only came here for a bit of a look around, but we've pretty much just got some Mountain Dew. But they don't have code red, which is what we wanted. So we're probably gonna go over to Dollar Tree, which is just opposite, Thank and see if they have it. So, yeah. Okay, so change of plan, we're actually back at the resort now, but basically there was not much of what we wanted at the shop, so we went to Target and then what, five, uh, no, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, then five below, then back to Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree, five below, back to Dollar Tree, but we still, we just got a couple of bottles of Mountain Dew and a few other little bits, but yep, back at All Star Sports. And we're gonna head back to the room. And we have returned back to the hotel after a very, very long day, but we have got a lot planned for the next vlog. We didn't record much on, like, whilst we were out. I have got a few clips uh, of Target and that area but we basically didn't get what we had intentionally set out for um but we did manage to get away with some mountain dew because i love mountain dew it tastes so much better and then we just got some extra snacks like at the malice and jolly ranchers so yeah we just basically got a few snacks and whatnot for our time here at Disney World, we're finally here. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Uh, some, a long travel day though. Yeah, very long travel day. So in the next vlog, you'll be seeing us go to Magic Kingdom. We've reserved the park pass for that day, although they have very recently revealed that they will be removing park passes as of next year. So that's a massive bonus. But for us, coming here in May 2023 it's we, we still have to reserve park passes so we have Magic Kingdom reserved for the next vlog so do tune in for that because we are going to be doing lots and it's going to be a lot more eventful in the next vlog I'm also going to be going more in depth of the actual hotel grounds because today uh, because we've done the direct room service we've just kind of gone around everything and come straight to the rooms because we needed to uh, get change quickly so we could go back out and then now by the time we're back it's like 11 p.m so we're just kind of wanting to crash out do stay tuned to my future vlogs in this series there may be a competition which i'll be running so do keep an eye out and yeah thank you very much for watching for today travel days are usually very 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 long and tiring yeah so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one